Russell Brunson has built a sales funnel that produces over $265 million annually. And he did that by using a strategy he calls the linchpin. But what most don't realize is how much he struggled in the beginning. He had multiple failed sales funnels until he finally cracked the code with this linchpin model that allowed the customers to start pouring in. The linchpin model wasn't anything necessarily new, but had never been applied to a business like ClickFunnels before. Let's dive into it. So if we were to map all of Russell Brunson's funnel, it would take so much space, right? He has so many different products and books and funnels and challenges and webinars. It's like every single week, there's a new funnel from Russell Brunson. And he also has hundreds of employees. And he's also spending millions of dollars a month on ads. But I wanna look at a couple of funnels today and specifically more on the underlying strategy that he's using and why, right? We wanna see where his focus is and what he's doing to ultimately grow that $265 million in annual recurring revenue. Now, one funnel he's been running for a long time that he recently revamped is called the One Funnel Away Challenge. And it basically was originally in 30 days, launch your funnel, right? And start making sales and you get, you know, all of the training, everything. You get a subscription to ClickFunnels for free. They're just a hundred bucks to join. Now they revamped it where when you go to the One Funnel Away Challenge, there's an e-commerce and an uh, expert-based path, right? And that's one thing I've seen Russell do over the past year is it seems like he's really focusing on growing the TAM, right? The, the total addressable market. Because for a long time, he, he really dominated the info product, the digital space, right? The service space. But like e-commerce, a lot of these other industries were being really dominated by platforms like Shopify. So now ClickFunnels has come in, built some features for e-commerce and trying to expand their market into these different industries such as e-commerce. So very smart move here. And this funnel says, if you want step-by-step -step guidance, building your one funnel e-com more expert with the two all-star marketing champions, the one funnel way challenge is back and free. Now this language free is something we're going to dive into a little bit more today because I think there, there's a little bit of an inconsistency there that I want to address that I think could be hurting conversions, but you land here. It's interesting. You can't click anything, right? There's no button above the fold. Typically that's the best practice you want to apply. And I'm curious how this looks on mobile. So they don't have those images on mobile, right? Because there's probably just no good way to show that. And actually, that's interesting. The call to action is above the fold on mobile. So they added an extra button there on mobile that opens up the pop up. So that's interesting. Uh, and this is the free one funnel way challenge. We'll show you how to build sales funnels that convert. ClickFunnels is the number one tool to make it happen right now. You can test drive ClickFunnels for 90 days for only 100 bucks. Let's go back to desktop and make this a little bit easier. So this picture shows a hundred dollars, but then it shows this like X through it. And again, it's that free language, right? We see it right here, right? And then we see right here, 90 days for only a hundred dollars, which is the real price. So it's, it's just a little bit confusing, right? Because on the ad, it says we've never given away a trial for 90 days, right? So trial means free, at least in my mind. And then it says, join the challenge for free, right? But then when you get down here, it's a hundred bucks. You're like, okay, what am I paying for? And these sort of inconsistencies, I think often hurt conversions, right? But as we go deeper into it, the next section here is which path do you want to take? Choose your path below. One's with Trey Llewellyn, uh, the e-commerce expert. One's with Russell, right? For the expert uh, edition, right? And they stack a little bit of kind of the social proof there, right? Trey sold millions, fastest growing to comma club ever with his e-commerce business and so forth, right? Then they have this cool offer image of showing all the stuff you get. And it says for one small time payment of just, and they cross off 997 and put it for hundred bucks, right? So they're stacking the offer and then they stack the offer even more, right? Show all these different bonuses, everything you get for a total value of $11,000, but nope, it's only hundred bucks if you join today, right? The, the typical value stack, price marinade, right? And then giving it for much cheaper. Then it says, join the One Funnel Away Challenge now. After 90 days, it's just 97 bucks a month. And that's where this strategy is the most interesting. You see, Russell has obviously not built a business to $265 million a year by selling $100 challenges. His LTV has to be a lot better than $100 to get to that scale, right? And also, he's probably not that profitable, if even profitable at all, on this challenge by itself, right? If you just join and pay 100 bucks and nothing else, he's probably not going to make much money, right? Where he makes the money is in continuity. And that's the the really the genius of the linchpin 
is it's a self-liquidating kind of front-end offer that gets you in on something that's more digestible than a continuity subscription uh, and really allows him just to grow the subscription base pretty quickly uh, while also, um, again, liquidating on ad spend in the beginning, right? So very genius. Uh, lots of testimonials here, adding in more social proof. And then if you click the call to action, it says step one, what email address would you like to use for the challenge? Okay, great copy here. The reason I think this is a great copy is he's incentivizing you to add in a real email address, right? You don't want people to put in fake email addresses because then your deliverability is going to suffer. Or they're not going to open their, your emails, right? So you can't contact them. You want the real lead. So by putting in that information, he's adding incentive because it, it seems like you have to enter the right email, right? You can't just uh, enter in a fake email. So you enter an email, you click submit. It takes you to the checkout page. Now, one thing that is interesting, actually, that I forgot to mention on the last page is when you get to these two different paths, neither of these go to different forms, right? They're the exact same form. And I don't know why there's that bug right there. I don't know if it's this button. Okay, it worked there. For whatever reason, it, it bugged out a little bit and it did that to me earlier as well. But they take you to the exact same form, right? Oh, they dash join, right? So it's the same form, but it, they make it seem more customized because they have the two different buttons. Just an interesting strategy there. Once again, for free, right? But it's hundred bucks. So I, I guess this is interesting. You join it, your test driving click funnels for 90 days for only hundred bucks. So now they're, I think they're making it seem like, okay, you're, you're kind of getting two months free because click funnels is hundred bucks a month, right? But you're only paying hundred bucks. So I don't know, a little bit interesting language there. This order form is designed pretty nice. You have an order bump here for 37 bucks. You have the kind of offer stack here. So this is for one small time payment again, right? Stacking the offer once again. A lot of social proofs. So you have these clutch badges right here, 100% satisfaction guarantee, risk reversal, right? If for any reason there's a no hassle refund policy, more testimonials and more testimonials uh, to incentivize you furthermore. So I actually already bought this earlier. And what was interesting to me is they have an order bump, right? So you can make this 137 bucks and then they make you check this little box that says, you know, after three months, you'll get billed $97 a month. Right, you have to check and it says rush my order that's really interesting language there rush my order i'm, I'm be curious uh, if they tested that or if that was just kind of their hypothesis that that would work better uh, but interesting call to action there but what i was going to say is what really surprised me is the pages after this had no one click upsells and that's like russell brunson 101 right like multiple upsells after to boost the alv to make your ad spend liquidate itself but they don't do that here so i, I don't know it's just interesting um i'm sure there's a strategic reason why it's not like they just forgot uh, but is really, really interesting there. So that's one of the linchpin offers. But what's interesting is that once again, Russell did not get to $265 million and 120,000 subscriptions by just having one front end offer. In fact, that's not even the one that allowed them to really scale in the beginning. That one was called his Funnel Hacks webinar. And the strategy he used there was so genius. So when he first started, he had like six failed funnel attempts, right? He was trying to sell ClickFunnels how most SaaS companies sell SaaS, right? Basic website, right? Landing page, straight to a free trial, right? And he was struggling. He's like, man, how are we supposed to scale when we're spending 300 bucks to get a free trial, right? What do you, how are you supposed to do that? And he realized the reason why a lot of his competitors could do that is because they had VC funding. He didn't have that. So he had to do something a little bit different and he launched a webinar funnel. But the interesting thing about the webinar funnel is it did not directly sell ClickFunnels, okay? This is super interesting. He spent most of the webinar talking about ClickFunnels, talking about funnels and why they were, you know, the, the most superior marketing strategy, right? So you get to the point where you're like, man, I really want to get this ClickFunnels thing. However, people have more objections about software, right? Because they are worried, oh, I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to have to pay for it every month, right? All these different objections that come along with a recurring software subscription. So instead, he talks about the whole webinar, hypes it up, but then he offers something called the Funnel Hacks Masterclass, I, be I believe is what it was called. It was 997 bucks and it was a course that taught you how to build funnels for your business. And with that came six months free to ClickFunnels, right? So you got six months free, you paid a thousand bucks, great offer, right? And it actually, initially it was a 12 month um, subscription to ClickFunnels and you just paid that 997, but then they tested it versus six and there was no significant conversion rate difference. So they, you know, opted to do that that way in six months, they could get that recurring coming in a little bit quicker, right? 
So he's done that. And over the past year, if we go to his ad library, we check out what they're running. He's running so many different types of funnels, right? He's doing a challenge funnel that he just launched called sellingonline.com, right? Discover the one to many selling secrets that have allowed me to sell over $1 billion online, right? And I believe this is just a free challenge over the course of five days. It's crazy how long this page is. Okay, so this one's $100 as well. That makes a little more sense. I've been a little bit curious why he, he seems like he's gone shorter on pages over the years. This one's longer, uh, but his pages used to all be like this super long and he's gone a little bit shorter. So this is a three day challenge, right? Where you learn how to sell on webinars. He does a lot of these sorts of things. I think he really likes this strategy and order forms at the bottom here is interesting. Oh, look at this scarcity. This is awesome. Yes. Yeah, save my spot for the selling online challenge. First thousand spots, a hundred bucks. Second thousand spots, 250. Third thousand spots, 997. That is genius scarcity right there. So it's just a hundred bucks uh, to get in on this challenge. I'm assuming they're probably not going to raise this, uh, but I could be wrong. Another order bump there for 47 bucks. And there's probably one click upsells on this one, uh, but really interesting, right? And this is just another example of how he's getting you inside of ClickFunnels. This one doesn't automatically recur into uh, ClickFunnels, but I'm positive at the end of it, there's gonna be some offer that sells something that includes ClickFunnels, right? Everything points back to ClickFunnels. He launched Magnetic Marketing a couple of years ago, right? And that points to ClickFunnels. He has all these books that point to ClickFunnels. He's really been a master of creating these self-liquidating funnels that allow him to get subscribers, right? That naturally ascend from these different funnels. So that's the, the genius strategy here. He's also running some ads. This is interesting. I think they delineate between cold traffic and warm traffic, where if you are getting targeted by him, you're kind of in at least like a general audience, right? Where they're going to these, uh, not necessarily just cold, but uh, they're more indirect offers, right? They're not directly selling click funnels. Um, that's more of just a, a side to them. Whereas there are direct ads to ClickFunnels to sign up for a trial, but I think these are probably primarily to warmer audiences that have already visited ClickFunnels before. This page is obviously really good. Their whole pitch here is basically, you know, you get all of these things you're, you're paying a bunch for, like your website, your online store, your membership and so forth, your CRM, your email marketing, your analytics, right? Your course software, all that stuff in one small subscription. So rather than paying 2000 bucks a month, just pay 97 bucks a month and get it all inside of ClickFunnels, right? And they're really trying to take market share from Shopify and these other platforms. So it's pretty interesting there. He also launched a Secrets of Success recently, again, going into these different markets, trying to expand his TAM and bring it all back into ClickFunnels, right? Super interesting model. They're already doing $265 million a year, and now they're trying to scale even further. So what's the big takeaway here? Well, I think if you're trying to sell something, there might be some easier ways to get people in the door first and know that the focus should always be in the, the real moneymaker long term, right? The continuity offer or the high ticket offer long term. When people are running ads to a $100, $50, right? $200 offer uh, direct to a sales page in this space, they're typically not making much money off of it. I have a lot of people come to me and like, hey, I, you know, I, I want to sell this $100 product. I'm like, okay, how are you going to get traffic? I'm like, I'm going to run ads. It's like, okay, is that all you're going to do? Because the chances of that being profitable are pretty low, right? You're probably not going to get customers for less than 100 bucks. However, if it's the, the means to get leads to ascend into something else, then that does make a lot of sense. So I think it's just absolutely genius what he's done here. And I also wanted to show you really quick. So once again, I thought the order page would then go to an upsell. I was wrong about that. It just is order page that you pay 100 bucks and then three months from now, you're on the $97 a month plan. But I also wanted to show you his email strategy because if you remember back to the funnel, the first step was to enter your email, right? And they wanted the real email, not a fake email. And if you don't order, right? So last week I went through this, tested it out, didn't order. And I got this email almost immediately. It says, problem with your order. We noticed you didn't complete your registration. You wanted to reach out, make sure everything was okay. Maybe you got a phone call, had to step away for a minute, or just had a question you needed answered. No matter what, we held your spot, right? It takes 60 seconds for adding that incentive, right? They're reminding you. Another email, if you're on the fence, right? This is the best offer we've ever made, right? They restack the offer once again. And then a third email, says my team tagged me in since they saw you still have it unlocked in one foot away challenge. I want to make it crystal clear. You'll be making a $100 investment into ClickFunnels for your 90-day test drive. And with that, 
you know, again, stacking the offer once again. So they give you three reminders after uh, to get into that product. So pretty interesting. They're doing really well on the email marketing. They're not collecting SMS. I'd be curious uh, as to why. Maybe they tested that and just the opt-in rate went too high up. But this is the funnel that Russell is using, right? These type of linchpin offers to get into the main funnel, which is click funnels. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. And if you want to see a part two of some more of Russell's funnels, let me know which ones down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.